Hey guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome here if you are new. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some cleaning. I'm also gonna be giving you guys a garden update in this video as well, so that is super exciting. Also gonna be sharing some exciting packages that came in the mail in this video. Just thought I would include it in here, but we're gonna go ahead and start in the family room. I'm just folding all the blankets. This room only takes about five minutes to get together. Folding the blankets, fluffing the pillows, picking up the coffee table, and that is really all this room needed. So now we're moving on to the kitchen. I wanted to take care of starting by unloading the dishwasher. I ran my dishwasher last night, even though it was not full. I asked you guys a couple of cleaning videos back, do you run your dishwasher even if it's not full? I did because it just makes starting my day so much easier. I can put all the dirty dishes in there. I also had made my dogs some homemade dog food this morning, so I had all their supplements out, the Instant Pot out, so we have quite a bit to do in this kitchen. Just for two nights, I want to believe. So keep on coming closer, keep me hanging on. Let me feel your body. I want you to know. All we need. I feel like the hardest part sometimes in cleaning the kitchen is getting everything situated so you can actually start cleaning and washing dishes. So I am lighting a candle to really just get my house smelling nice and clean. So this is my sweater weather candle from Bath and Body Works. I usually only light this candle in the fall and winter time, but it was pretty chilly outside. It was like 65 degrees today. So I thought today was the perfect day to light it. And I also wanted to get rid of it because every year I shop, well, I didn't shop it last year, I had so many candles. So usually every year I shop the Bath and Body Works sale, um, which is in December and they discount the candles, I believe to $10. And I usually stock up like not last year, but the year before, I think I bought like 50 candles. So I didn't have to end up buying any last year, but this year I definitely want to shop the sale. So I'm going ahead and using all of my candles, even though if it doesn't exactly fit the season, I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. But now we are just loading the dishwasher with all the dishes that can go in there. The ones that can't go in there will just be hand washing. You guys will see Blissy in and out the frames. She was cleaning along with me today. Hey, would you rather stay right here? Make everything disappear. Can play my favorite song. Put your rose colored glasses on. What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear. in the picture sun. Put your rose colored glasses on. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we 
This little egg maker you see me cleaning, I use this to cook hard boiled eggs. It had been a long time since I actually cleaned it. I usually just wipe it down with like a wet paper towel, but it had some harsh water stains on it. So I had to actually give it a really good scrub this day, but it is amazing. If you guys love hard boiled eggs, you just pop them in there with some water and it only takes seven minutes and they come out perfect every time. So strongly recommend that. I'll link it down below for you guys because it's so good. And I wanted to share with you Blissy. If you didn't see her in frame, oh, she was here guys. She was just chilling on the floor. So usually I have her put away because I trip on her all the time, but she really wanted to be out today. So I let her stay out while I got cleaning done. Only the good sides Always pretty smiles are covering her face You know it is all lies You know it is all lies almost done with the kitchen. We have a few more things I wanted to do. I wanted to wipe down these soap pumps. I always get questions about these in every single video. If you guys are new around here, I have an Amazon storefront and everything that I own in my home from Amazon is on there. It's always linked in the description box and I have it categorized by the item. So those white soap pumps are linked to my Amazon storefront and they're under the home essentials category. So definitely check it out, shop my home and probably a lot of the things you're looking for is on there. And another question I get asked a lot is about my bar stool. So many of you guys love them. I know I share this a lot, but a lot of you guys may miss it. If you don't watch every single video that I post, they came from TJ Maxx. So there is no way I'm able to link them. However, if you guys watch my TJ Maxx shop with me's, you you will see them in store in multiple videos that I have shared on my channel. They're always there. I actually just recently saw them last week. So if you want them, go to your local TJ Maxx and most likely they'll be there. And if they're not there, just keep checking. Just trying to forget you and everything we said, but I can seem to get these thoughts out of my head. Baby, why'd you have to love me? Love me like that. Love me like that. Inside in my bed all day long Listening to sad songs and feeling so low Thinking about you and where we went wrong Cause I wanna know why you let me go Thought I was more than a body to hold, baby I wanted you, wanted us to be something but I was so sure I let my guard down for you Baby, why'd you have to love me, love me like that? All right, so we got my stove top area all cleaned. It needed quite a bit of attention because it had been a couple of days since I cleaned it and a lot of food was caked on. So I used my barkeeper's friend to scrub away all the food grime. And then once I had everything scrubbed away, I just used my multi-surface spray, the Caldrea, to just give it a good wipe. I'm using the Caldrea on all the countertops. You guys always hear me rave about this cleaning product. It's one of my favorite multi-surface sprays. Has such a strong smell and it does an amazing job at cleaning. I get most of all my cleaning products from from Grove, I actually just placed a huge order and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys that order here in this video. So get excited for that. I love my Grove. I will have my Grove link down below. You use my link, you get a free Mrs. Meyer set. You have to spend $20, which is so easy to do. I always end up spending way more than that because they have amazing products on their site. Baby, why'd you have to love me?
peace that's so well needed Life will take care of the rest Biking alone in the sunset Through the canals or the mindset I need I put all my cleaning supplies in the dishwasher so that way I can get nice and disinfected. And now we are wiping down this dining table, getting all of these products put away. We just got some new speakers for a golf cart that we're super excited about. Also, we had a new light fixture installed. Well, we didn't have it installed. Ryan installed our new light fixture. He did such an amazing job, you guys. So that's what all those screws were. I am gonna be sharing it with you very soon. We're just waiting on the light bulbs to arrive. And as soon as they arrive, I'll share it with you because that way you can get the full effect when I actually share the light fixture. You won't get the full effect if I shared it without the light bulbs. You guys see how I clean the family room and then literally five minutes later, Blissy had all of her toys out. I do like her to keep them out because it keeps her busy. So I let her have them, we'll probably be cleaning them up again, but here's the after shot of our beautiful family room and kitchen. I just got this in the mail, but I'd share it with you guys before we continue cleaning. So it's these little taco holders because Ryan and I have tacos at least once a week. So I thought this was so cute. I had plastic ones before this and um, they broke. So I went ahead and got metal this time around. And what I love is you can put the tacos on here, hard or soft. And if the person wants three tacos, there's three slots. And then if they want two tacos, there is two slots. How cool is that? And it comes in a pack of four. I will link them down below. If you guys eat tacos a lot, if you entertain a lot, these will be perfect. We actually went to a restaurant that had these. And as soon as we went, I placed my order for them. So super affordable. I think it was like 13 or 14 bucks for a set of four. Anyway, we're going to get back to cleaning. Right, Lissy? <laughs> a little bit of a break to let the dogs out. And I want to share with you guys my garden. If you follow me over on Instagram, then you've already seen this because I was really excited and sharing everything with you guys. I actually made a garden tab on my Instagram. So that way you can see everything about my garden. But I went ahead and planted some oregano. We have some thyme. We have some parsley, mint, and rosemary. And I kept quite a bit of space in between the rosemary because I know this is going to get really big. And it's doing very well. This is the raised garden bed, by the way, that I got from Aldi in case you missed that video. They do not have them anymore, but they do bring them back every single year. So I'm going to pick up another one. Um, they brought it back. They brought it, I think, beginning of May. So I'm definitely going to pick up another one next year to go over here. But I'm loving how my little garden is. And this is the garden over here. And this is really exciting because most of all of this I grew from seeds. No, Blissy. I have to tell her no because she'll try to eat it. But we have my carrots right here, zucchini. Oh, look how big my zucchini got. We have my green pepper right there, which is doing really good. This is These ones right here I grew from plants, not seeds. And that's the banana pepper and then also the tomato. Look at that, you guys. And then over here, I thought I had bought a tomato seed plant, but I did not. I think this is a radish. Um, I was asking you guys over on Instagram, but I'm not quite sold that it's a radish because I pulled up a radish on Google and the leaves do not look like it's a radish. So I'm not really sure what this is, but we have some jalapeno, which I grew from seeds, cilantro I grew from seeds, basil I grew from seeds, which I don't know if this is gonna have enough space for the basil or not, but like I said, I don't think this is a radish because the leaves look a lot different. I think it's red potato. So I'm gonna ask you guys, I already asked Instagram. Oh, there's some more, look at that. So um, this is definitely has to be a red potato. I don't know, 
but let me know if you guys know what that is. It's not ready to be dug up yet, but the leaves don't look like a radish. So kind of confused. Also there. got another exciting delivery. Our grill came in the mail. That's super exciting. So we're gonna get it put together. So maybe we can grill this weekend. So now we're in the master bedroom. I'm sprinkling the mattress with some baking soda. It is a natural deodorizer. If you've never done this, highly recommend. You just sprinkle it on your mattress, let it sit for an hour if you can, a minimum of 30 minutes, and it freshens it up. It removes all of the dirt and grime out of your mattress that you can't see. I try to do that every time I wash the mattress protector, which I only wash the mattress protector every couple of months. I wash the sheets once a week, but the actual protector that protects the mattress, I only do that a couple of times a month and then I will just try to vacuum my mattress with some baking soda when I do that. I never thought you would take over my mind cause I've been lost. So this little gadget you see me holding up in frame is a little cleaning brush that is filled up with half vinegar, half Dawn dish soap. I had the orange one on hand, but any one will work. I got this little cleaning tip from a girl named Vanessa over on TikTok. And so what you're supposed to do is keep it in your shower. And every week or so, I do it like a couple of times a week. You can just scrub your shower out with that solution and it keeps it fresh a lot longer. So wash the countertops with just some multi-surface spray, and then you'll see me go with my Method Anti-Bac, which is an antibacterial spray. I'm just gonna spray that on the counters, let it sit for 10 minutes, and then we'll go ahead and wipe it down, and that just disinfects everything. And now we're moving into the shower. I'm not gonna take everything out the shower because I did that last week. I'm just really wanting to wipe down the shower. I do do this every single week. I love a nice and clean shower. So every week I will go in my shower and I will wipe it down really well with like my foam method cleaner. And then like every other week I will take everything out the shower and clean it that way. So let go of the things you Now we have the bottom of the shower clean and now I'm just using that cleaner. It had been sitting for quite a bit and I am cleaning the shower walls. It does such a good job. It gets nice and foamy. I still had that um, product that I used on the bottom of the floors of the shower on my sponge. So it created this amazing paste, which I loved because it did such a good job at removing all of the soap scum. No, I made it hard for you, but I can't. Now I wanna make you part of my plans. Put a little faith in me, though you're scared. So we have a few things left to do in this master bathroom. I'm just giving the toilet a wipe down using that method antibacterial spray, tons of paper towel. And once we clean the toilet, we're gonna be vacuuming the floors and then I'm gonna be steam mopping as well. I like to steam mop my floors every single week to keep those nice and clean. And then we'll be taking a little bit of a break from cleaning and I wanna share with you guys all of the new and exciting products I got from Grove. And then we'll be finishing up the master bedroom. But we always get what's required So many things we desire But I only bring you a lighter So we can add you to the flames Keep on playing games Oh Adding more fuel to the flames I know I'm to blame 
So first up, I got this nose and paw moisturizer for dogs and cats. I've heard amazing things about this. My dogs needed it because the bottom of their paw pads are always super dry. It looks like this. It's kind of like a little chapstick for dogs and my dogs needed it bad because like I said, theirs is always dry. It doesn't have any smell to it. So I'm excited to try this and let you guys know how I like it. Also picked up these Yes to Cucumbers. It's like these soothing makeup wipes. And I've had these before and I loved them. So I picked them up again. They're just really good to take your makeup off. I also got this all purpose cleaner. I think this was a free gift actually for spending so much money. I think, I think if you spent, I don't remember, but I definitely know this was one of the gifts and it comes with these little um, containers that have all purpose cleaners. So all you have to do is pour this in a spray bottle and then fill the rest up with water and you have some really good like Grove all purpose cleaner. And then I also got some chapstick as well. This was part of a free gift as well. So this is just protective lip balm. I love their chapstick. They always have the best chapsticks on Grove. And then what is this? I wanted to try out their laundry detergent. We needed some more laundry detergents. I was like, you know what? Why not just give Groves a try? Had amazing reviews. It's an ultra concentrated laundry detergent. It's lavender and rosemary flavor. So I just really wanted to try it. I've heard amazing things about the Grove laundry detergent. And believe it or not, it was a pretty good price for this. So I picked up a pouch of this. I also picked up a dispenser for it to go in. So I'll show that with you guys in a second. Next up, um, I got this cleaning spray bottle, which goes with the set that I just shared with you guys that have those little um, capsules that you fill in. So this is just the spray bottle. Wow, this is really nice. It's glass, it has a black top. That is super nice. You're gonna see me use this a lot in my cleaning videos. And then what else did I get? I got some of this seventh generation laundry stain remover. I needed this to get stains out of things. I usually use the Tide one, but I didn't see that one on Grove. So I got this one and I'm excited to try a new brand out. Also got this disinfecting multi-surface spray. I really wanna start spraying this on my counter. Kills 99.9% .9 of germs. So you'll see me using this in cleaning videos. What else did I get? I got this little like scrub brush thing that I can use to clean out the inside of our sinks. Um, so that'd be really nice. Probably the bathroom sinks. I'll keep this in the bathroom and just use it for the bathroom sinks I'm thinking. And what I love about it, you can change the brush head out once it starts to get bad. You don't have to throw the whole thing out. So that's really nice. Last but not least, I got the container for the laundry detergent is the container. Oh, I didn't realize it was glass. I love Grove because they always give you such amazing products. So this is glass, this is plastic, and then you just fill it up in here. It's supposed to um, dispense the perfect amount of laundry detergent. So I will let you guys know how this is. That's really cool. All right, so that's everything I got this month from Grove. I'm always placing orders on there, so that was fun to share with you guys a little haul, and I'll be reporting back, letting you know how the products are. If you guys wanna check out Grove, like I said in the beginning of this video, my link is always linked down below. Use it so you can get your free Mrs. Meyer set. So the baking soda had been sitting for about an hour and I'm just making sure to vacuum all of the baking soda up. Make sure you get all of it. Then after we have all of the baking soda vacuumed up, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my Tide antibacterial spray that you have seen me use in several videos. And I'm just going to be spraying that all over the mattress and the headboard to just really disinfect. Although the baking soda does a good job of that as well, I just wanted to make sure it was extra clean. So my room was smelling amazing from that Tide spray. I'm putting the mattress protector back on the mattress. If you do not use a mattress protector, strongly recommend it. It keeps your mattress nice and white, it prevents sweat and dirt and debris from actually getting on your mattress. So make sure you're using one. Don't just use the bottom sheet and top sheet. Your mattress also needs to be protected as well to keep that nice and clean. So we're adding the nice and fresh sheets back on the bed. We're gonna be adding the quilt as as well we actually don't sleep with our duvet cover we only sleep with the quilt in the summer and spring because it's nice and light and airy so we do wash the quilt once a week but i only do the duvet cover about once a month because we do pull that back it doesn't actually touch our skin so we're going to be putting our duvet cover back on our comforter which took quite a bit of time but it was so worth it there's nothing like having all fresh bedding i went ahead and washed the duvet inserts and the cover as well to make sure that was 
clean. I only wash the actual like duvet cover every couple of months and then I wash the duvet about once a month. Not used to this. I don't know how to act, don't know how to adapt to this situation. Not used to this, no I'm not. I better let myself give in to love, believe in us, no matter what it does to my heart. Not used to this, no I'm not. It was like if we were to waste these moments, the light poets to me. wash all this bedding in three loads. Some of it had to be on the delicate cycle and some of it did not. So I recommend if you are washing your bedding to start first thing in the morning. So before you do anything, as soon as you get out of bed, go ahead and put that first load in the washing machine because it does take several hours to get everything clean. When I had to wash the throw blanket, the duvet, the duvet cover, the sheets, the pillowcases, everything. So it was mid afternoon and finally all the bedding was done. And some of the things have to be dried twice. Like the big duvet cover, I had to do two cycles. So that took like an hour and a half just to dry. So it's quite the process. But if you start early, it makes things a lot easier. You are, you so I went ahead and sprayed all of the bedding with that Tide antibacterial spray. Even though it didn't need it, I just love the way it makes all of your linen smell. It just smells so good. I'm finishing up this master bedroom by giving the floors a good vacuum. That is everything we were able to take care of in this video. I'll have my Grove link down below, my Amazon storefront down below for you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button. Join the family here on my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. You're getting this in my brain.